What is going on to YouTube? Lamont at large. Today we are at the Rosedale Cemetery here in Linden, New Jersey. And I wanted to show you a very fascinating grave. Uh, this right here is the final resting place of Raymond C. Uh, he was a teenager who died in a car accident uh, back in 1981. But uh, of course you see right here this very fancy mausoleum or you can call it a crypt where he is uh interred but what makes this grave fascinating is not necessarily this crypt right here but uh this right behind the crypt parked is a replica 1982 Mercedes-Benz 240 diesel. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. This was Raymond's dream car as a kid. And uh, when he grew up, this was what he wanted. And his brother, David, uh, his brother was uh, quite a bit older than him. And at the time, I believe that Raymond uh, lived in Hong Kong, but he would come back and forth between America and Hong Kong. His brother immigrated from Hong Kong uh, 20 years previous. And when he tragically died, it is a uh, custom in, uh, in the Chinese culture that if you promise something to somebody and they die before you are able to fulfill their wish, that you are to try your hardest to fulfill it in death. And that's exactly what he did. If you can see right here, the personal license plate with Ray's name on it. Now, I'm not quite sure if Ray died in the United States or in Hong Kong. An article online says that uh, his that he died in Hong Kong and the family uh, sent his body over to the United States to be buried. I guess he loved the United States so much that his parents said, okay, because he, he always wanted to come to America. And uh, his parents also fulfilled that same wish as well. Let's talk really quickly about what you see right in front of you. So how was this made? Well, this was made from a huge piece uh, of rock that was quarried in somewhere in Vermont. And it took three men about 18 months to chisel this rock down to this very car right here. Uh, it is exactly, uh, in terms of uh, artistry, it is an exact replica of that very same Mercedes-Benz. The only thing is that you do not have the Mercedes-Benz emblem right here. And of course, uh, you do not have any mirrors. And um, I'm going to guess the reason for that is because they didn't want people coming here trying to break that stuff off and vandalizing it. This weighs 36,000 pounds. Excuse me. Yeah, no, no, 36 tons. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, imagine even, even bringing it here how, and how they lifted it off of the truck right here. It cost a quarter of a million dollars to make and that was back in 19, uh, in the early 80s. So imagine how much it would cost now. So you factor in the cost of this and the cost of this, uh, you're looking at well over a half a million dollar grave right here. And uh, this is, uh, this is more, cooler to see in person than it is to see online and i've been looking at this uh pictures for uh many years now before i even did any videos and uh this is uh an ultimate uh you know uh, testament to uh a young kid who all he wanted in life he wanted to drive a nice car just like his brother did and his brother his older brother uh david uh, he, when he immigrated here, he became uh, a very successful businessman, a multimillionaire, and he had very nice cars himself. And he told 
Raymond, he said, hey, uh, you get your driver's license and you know you, you, do, you, you do your schoolwork and you don't mess around. When you turn 17, I'm gonna buy you this car. And sadly, he didn't get to, uh, he didn't get to realize that dream, but in death, it's, it's very touching that his brother did that for him. And a, a little bit of an odd story about his brother, David. So in 1988, uh, David was arrested and charged with uh, second degree murder. What happened was, being that David is such a prominent businessman in the uh, New York area, I guess some Chinese gangsters came into his office for some quote-unquote protection money. And David was not having any of that. He said, I'm not paying you anything. And he pulled out his gun and shot 24-year-old Andy Chin Liang 18 times because 17 was not enough. And some of you might be asking, well, what gun, what gun holds 18 bullets? Well, he didn't use a rifle. No, he used a 38 caliber revolver. He emptied his gun and reloaded it twice. He shot him 18 times. And so uh, it went to trial, but the, the jury... They acquitted him of all charges because this guy is coming into his office telling him, hey, you're going to pay me $1,000 a week. And uh, the guy was a well-known gang member of a Chinese gang called Tong On. Uh, however, during the trial, the prosecutor wanted to talk about uh, David's supposed gang involvement uh, with a uh, Chinese gang called the Hip Sing Tong which they're not necessarily a gang, but they're like a Chinese uh, group of business owners and what have you. However, uh, they do have ties to the underworld, so to speak. So let's just say that they're uh, the hip sing tong. Uh, just say that uh, you probably uh, don't want to uh, bother them. You probably want to let them do what they want to do. However, uh, his association with that, uh, we'll just call it an organization, uh, was not allowed uh, during the trial. So, uh, you know, the prosecutors wanted to frame it as a uh, gang on gang violence and uh, they were not allowed to do so. So he got off uh, in the case. So I don't know anything past that. You guys can make your own assumptions, who knows? Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, David won that uh, outright. Anyways, guys, a very fascinating grave to say the least. And I've been wanting to come here for quite some time now. And I am uh, fortunate enough that I'm allowed to do stuff like this. And uh, if you guys are ever in the uh, Linden, New Jersey area, maybe you live in New York City or you live in Jersey, Philly. Hey, next time you come through, come stop and see this. This is uh, absolutely awesome. And uh, there is a, uh, wow, I just seen this. Look at that. China Buddhist Association, Raymond Say. Excuse me, seat. Wow. Yeah, it, this grave gets lots of visitors every year. It's one of the more uh, well-known graves uh, in New Jersey. It actually might be the most known grave, uh, in my opinion, in New Jersey. Anyways, uh, rest in peace to uh, Raymond. Okay, guys. Lamont at large. I'll catch up with you later. Have a good one. Peace out.